Why am I fishing right now? Well, for one, it's the easiest way to level my cooking skill, and two, it can be more lucrative than most people know. My name is Icosial, and today I'm going to show you how to easily level both your fishing and cooking skills to 300. Fishing and cooking may not be the most exciting thing to do in the world, but it does have its benefits. You don't have to waste money buying food to heal you up while you're leveling, and when you reach the level cap of 60, you will save a fortune by being able to support yourself with the food buffs you will need in dungeons, raids, and battlegrounds. There are also several fish that can earn you a decent amount of gold, and if you do it early enough, it will help you purchase your level 40 mount with a bit more ease. Both of these secondary professions can be maxed out by level 35. However, if leveling to 60 as fast as possible is your goal, I would not suggest you do that. But enough with all this fluff, and let's get started. Once you've purchased your apprenticeship in both fishing and cooking, you will need to purchase your fishing pole and grab a few shiny baubles to help you out for the first cast. Depending on what race you chose will determine the best waters you should fish in. For humans, you will want to fish in the pond next to Goldshire or Crystal Lake. Night Elves will want to finish in Lake Alameth near Dolinar, while Dwarves and Gnomes will want to fish in Iceflow Lake. In these waters, you will want to catch about 60 Brilliant Smallfish and 60 Longjaw Mudfish. Once your fishing skill is capped at 75, you will want to purchase your recipes. For Brilliant Smallfish, find Theron Budin in Goldshire and Nyoma in Dolinar. Dwarves and Gnomes will have to visit Greta Ganter for the Smallfish recipe in Brunal Village, and Tansy Puddlefizz in the Forlorn Cavern of Ironforge for the Mudfish recipe. Start cooking all of your fish, and your cooking skills should reach 75. Visit your respective trainers, and purchase your journeyman level proficiency in both skills. If you have any long jaw mudfish left over, go ahead and cook those until they turn green, which will put you at 110 cooking skill. If you need more mudfish to reach 110, just continue to fish them up in those same waters until you get what you need. Your next stop will be at South Shore, where you will find Lindea Rabani, who will sell you the recipes for bristle whisker catfish and mithril head trout. Now just head east of South Shore and fish in its neighboring river for the bristle whisker catfish. Fish up the catfish until your fishing skill reaches 150, and you should have more than enough to eventually get your cooking skill up to 175 after you train. Now that both your cooking and fishing are capped at 150, it's time to go buy some books. For the fishing book, you will need to get to Booty Bay and purchase the expert fishing book called The Bass and You from Old Man Hemming. The expert cookbook is sold by Shandrina in Ashenvale, next to Mistral Lake. These books will now allow you to reach a skill proficiency level of 225, and so your next stop will be Stromgard Keep, to fish at the ponds found at its entrance. There you will be able to fish for the Mithril Head Trout, and you will be here for a while as you fish your way to 225. By the time you cap your fishing skill, you will have more than enough fish to cap your cooking skill at 225 as well. Once you reach level 35, you will be able to pick up the two quests needed to continue your profession levels beyond 225. For the fishing quest, you will need to swim out to Nat Pagel, who can be found off the coast west of Theramore. Pagel wants you to catch four rare fish, and once you do that, and return the fish to him, he will grant you your artisan proficiency to reach 300. The four fish are the Fairless Ahi, found in the Verdantis River, Sartheris Striker, found north or south of Shadowprey Village, Savage Coast Blue Saffin, found outside Gromgold Base Camp, and Misty Reed Mahi Mahi, found east of Stoneard. Next is to obtain the Artisan Cooking Quest from Dirge Quickcleave in Gadgetzan. Quickcleave wants you to bring him 12 giant eggs, 10 zesty clam meats, and 20 Alterac Swiss. You can choose to either farm for these items or purchase them from the auction house. If you choose to farm for the ingredients, you will find the giant eggs drop frequently from the rocks in Tanaris, 
or owl beast in the hinterlands. Zesty clam meats drop well from the turtles found in Steamweedle Port or Raven Tusk Village. For the Alterac Swiss, just make a trip to Stormwind and purchase them from Elaine Trius at the Trius Cheese Shop. Now that you have all of your ingredients, just take them back to Dirge Quickleave to become an artisan cook. You are now on your way to maxing out your skills to 300, but before you leave Tanaris, you will want to go to Steamweedle Port and speak with a goblin named Gikix. There, you will buy the recipes for Spotted Yellowtail, Poached Sunscale Salmon, and Nightfin Soup. Now, take a flight to Feathermoon and Feralus and purchase the Baked Salmon Recipe from Viviana. Your last stop for recipes will be Booty Bay, where you will find Kelsey Yance and buy the recipe for Filet of Redgill. Now that you have all of your recipes, it is time for you to travel to your final fishing location at Lake Aluna Ra in Moonblade. To get there, just be a druid. Yep, you did this all wrong. You need to roll a druid. Nah, I'm kidding. You don't really have to be a druid to get to Moonglade, but it does make it easier. So, if you're not a druid, you can either brave the Caverns of Timbermaw Hold, which at low levels will require a lot of dying, or you can swim north from Darkshore while hugging the coastline. Once it states you're in Moonglade, and I do mean right when it states that, you will want to drown, where after you will find yourself in the Moonglade Graveyard. In Lake Aluna Ra, you will frequently catch all of the fish for the recipes you just purchased. The Spotted Yellowtail will get you to the cooking skill you need to cook the Redgill fish, and the amount of Redgill you catch will easily get you to the skill of 300. The other recipes will help you get to 300 quicker since they will be orange for most of the way there, and will also help you make a decent amount of gold for the time you put in to get your fishing skill to 300. To help you out in your fishing, I must tell you about the Big Iron Fishing Pole and how to find it. I usually wait until about level 30 before I attempt to find it because of the level 32 mobs in the area. First, purchase a short stack of Elixirs of Water Breathing at the auction house, and then take a flight to Desolus. Once there, you will head west to the Failed Sea, drink your Elixir, and open the shellfish traps you see there. Be aware that this is horrid territory so you will need to be alert, because they are known to farm for this fishing pole as well. It is well worth the effort though, because it will grant you a plus 20 on your fishing skill once you're using it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to be notified of new content I produce for WoW Classic. I hope the information in this guide helps make the drudgery of both fishing and cooking just a bit easier and less painful for you to level. If you are looking for more guides like this, you can check out some of my Dungeon Quest Guide videos to help you during your early levels. If you'd like to make a suggestion for future guides, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and may your time fishing be peaceful, because nothing is more irritating than being... sheeped... Oh man, really?